My name is uh, Trish Gallagher. I'm from Boston, Massachusetts, USA. I'm a member of Code Pen, and we are so, so working as hard as we can and I to bring peace, uh, to have our country stop aligning with Israel to create genocide in Palestine. I was thrilled coming up to, I'm a tourist and coming up to see the cathedral and to see you all out here Witnessing for peace is just so beautiful, and I, uh, I, 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 we all want peace. Seventy percent of the world or more wants peace, and this is. Uh, thank you for contributing to it. And we are working as those of us on this side are working as hard as we can in the U.S. to change policy, because this is evil and wrong, and we are sorry. That's crazy. Malcolm Stout wasn't even aware of this because I work Saturdays. It's my best excuse. I've been following the situation in Gaza for Palestine, sorry, Palestine, for the best part of 50 years. And just, you know, there's nothing we can do but turn up and show our face and support. End of story. I don't want to start a rant about. October 7th and thousands of Palestinian hostages and Israeli jails. I could go on and on and on, but I'm, I'm just here to show my face and show a little respect and support for the genocide that's just beyond belief. Right, so, so Friends of Palestine, Friends of Palestine, we supported this charity Hope and Play, uh, which itself supports needy children in Gaza, and in particular children who, who have been traumatised uh, over, over many years now by the Israeli attack, and are particularly, of course, now being, being severely traumatised. And there's, there's a British charity, uh, this British charity Hope and Play was founded by a man called Yas Al Qasem uh, about 10 years ago, uh, and he describes himself as a Palestinian Brit. His family uh, left uh, Palestine in 1948 when, when, when Israel was formed and, and there was a war then, and, and he's been brought up in the UK uh, and, and he, he was educated here, and he feels that, that uh, his children here in the UK have so much a better time. Uh, the, 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 the lots of their relatives back in Palestine and particularly in Gaza that he, he wanted to help those children. So this, this charity, Hope and Play, uh, raises money in the UK to be spent by, by people on the ground in Gaza uh, and, and particularly uh, for children and especially for traumatised children. Thank you so much again for coming out today. We've now been having our vigil for nearly 10 months every Saturday. And the persistence is just unbelievable, unprecedented, as Fiona said in her Orkney News um, column today. So I would just, you know, like to pass on a message 
from Dr. Salim, who is in the Shufat refugee camp in Jerusalem. I've been sending him photographs and stories and videos that the Orkney News has put up. And he just wrote yesterday to say, shukran, which is thank you in Arabic for all you do, which is all of us. He said, you make us so happy. So it's just wonderful to think that a small action up here can make people who are suffering grave human rights abuses a bit of happiness. So thank you from all of us for doing that. Now, I just wanted to mention a few um, events that are coming up. Tomorrow afternoon, we at our house um, are going to have another garden open day because a lot of people weren't able to come last Sunday. So we thought we would do it again tomorrow for anyone who would like to come out, have some tea and cake, look at our garden and our Gaza children's garden. So if you would like to come and need directions, just come and see me afterwards and I can explain and send you an email of how to get there. We would love to see everyone and it's gonna be sunny. So <laughs> we won't need to worry about getting wet. So that's great. Now, I wanted just to introduce Fiona, who is going to tell us about the event on Friday with Deline. So, Fiona? Hi. I think most of you probably know about it already, but on Friday coming at St. Magnus Centre from 6.30 till 8pm, uh, a good friend of mine based in Edinburgh, Deline, is coming up. Her family um, were all in Gaza and she's coming up to do an event in which she will make some food. There'll be some homemade falafel, hummus, baba ganoush, flatbreads, that kind of thing. Um, and she'll talk a bit about her family, including her family who have been killed in the last 10 months. Um, and I think we'll have donation. It's free to come. We'll have donation buckets on the night. I think Brian is selling some Zaytun stuff. Uh, and that's it. If anyone wants the link, I can book you a ticket on my phone now. It would be brilliant to know if you're coming, just so before, say, Tuesday this week, just so we know about numbers for people. That's it. Thank you. And Sue is going to say a few words about another event coming up. Yeah, uh, there's a bit of time to think about it, but uh, five weeks tomorrow, um, Amnesty are going to be reintroducing their Five Barriers Fun Run. Um, so like I say, it's plenty of time ahead of time, but if we want to get entry forms, think about getting sponsorship. Um, for those that don't know, it's six and a half miles, but it's a walk, push chair, bike, kids, walk your dog, anything goes. It goes from what used to be the Commodore Motel is now um, the Barrier View Cafe, I think it is. At the end of the first barrier, you go all the way across the first, second, third, fourth, touch base on the fourth, and then you come back across the fourth barrier, thus the five barriers fun run. Um, and we finish at the, uh, at the Sands Hotel in Bury, and they provide uh, soup and sandwiches and things for people that have done it. So we're trying to raise money and also raise um, uh, um, um, more uh, emphasis on human rights and so each of the barriers are actually labelled against some of the human rights um, injustice, um, uh, death penalty, child soldiers, disappearances. Uh, disappearances and things like that. So it's uh, it's it's highlighting some of the uh, issues for Amnesty but also a fundraiser. So that's five weeks tomorrow but I have got a few entry forms here you can also get them from the Picky Centre and various other places. Anybody wanting to get a bit of time to uh, raise sponsorship, now's the time to start. And just finally, I'd like to <clears throat> mention that Brian again has some produce from Zaytun, which is fair trade, and it's dates and olive oil from the West Bank supporting Palestinian farmers. So he's got some right over there next to the cross if anyone would like to stock up on some goodies today. So again, this has been a 
momentous week in Palestine. We've had, um, unfortunately, hundreds more deaths. We've also had uh, Ben Netanyahu visiting America with lots of demonstrations in Washington, D.C. So every week something new seems to happen, but the thing that always happens is our vigils here in Kirkwall. So we will see you next week unless there's a permanent ceasefire. So thanks everyone and I'll collect up your posters and hope to see you at the events this week. Thank you.